Welcome to bed. Good evening, folks. <laughs> it is an evening. It's quite dark on this picture, I believe, yeah. Hmm. You can still see me anyway. Um, now, the exhaust system. Um, well, it's on. It's fitted. So I'm just going through, just going through all these video clips, noise clips, images of the old exhaust, which was a mess. <laughs> when we got it off, it was, it was quite a mess. Um... Uh, the other thing was the new exhaust, which has gone on perfectly. Uh, and the tips, we decided on the ones that I think most people was looking and saying, yeah, go for that one. Because in the end, that's one we'd have to go for anyway, because the neck on the other one was too long, coming out from the box, going out to, to the um, the exit uh, hall on the um, rear bumper. So, but it looks, it looks mint. Could do the final polish just to get it looking proper spot on. Uh, we got it done turbo back. Um, we've paid the guy and it's all been done. And now the video, we did a little run in it to listen, got some sound testing, and it sounds night and day better. Um, it's not as bold, not not proper. You know what I mean? Upset people <laughs> like my neighbours. Um, it's it's just I'd say just about right, um, and it sounds nice on the overrun. Didn't ask for any overrun because it hasn't been mapped yet. That's to come. Um, the mapping um, we can start, we can get done now. You see, because uh, the links here, it's um, the links been sat here for months. We've just been querying and when to get the exhaust done because it couldn't be mapped in that condition because it was it was a mess. You'll see some photographs on it in a minute in the video. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> absolute. One second, I think someone's gonna score. Right, sorry about the interruption. Just where I had a goal from somewhere and I just uh, miss dreamy attentions elsewhere. Um, yeah, so um, it was a bit of a link, weren't we? Yeah, well, the link's here, it's ready to go on. Um, also, is a wide band we've got for it as well, which uh, saves the, the mapper having to mess about. We're having all sorts of stuff up the exhaust pipe to do the fuel in her. Um, Cause this thing lets you do it via the laptop and it measures it to, uh, well, it basically goes, attaches somewhere along this, the exhaust system. Um, uh, and it measures the air via that without having to mess with tubes and pipes what you normally have to put up the exhaust to see what, uh, comes from your uh, and I think it's it is her, isn't it? Fuel and uh, whatever it is. And it matches that. That'll be going on. And we've also got the race dials as well. Um the clocks which will cover the um normal clocks. Um so I can read miles an hour then as well because you can switch it from KP KMH to MPH. So that will be uh, nice to read. Get all the miles, get all the speed in miles an hour. Um, so that'll be coming as well. I've got a little video on that somewhere. If I can find it, I'll stick it in. I'll probably put it on at the end of this video and let you see what it looks like um, actually running. I think we bought five of them. Uh, all the rest got fitted. I haven't seen them fitted yet, so there's only mine to go on now. And then the car, for, for the time being, will be perfect. Um, we'll get to some shows and meets then and start using the bloody thing. So. Yeah, uh, that's where we're at at the moment. I'll let you get on with the video, so without further ado, I'll get back to the football and let you enjoy what you let you enjoy the film. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Well, that's it. It's going in there for full system turbo back. So hopefully, we'll some content on that. There's Jeff. Making the system for me. It's all play. It's a great buy. Hopefully, early next week.
your exhaust is on there, cat back, sorry, cat back, uh, turbo back. Uh, so we're gonna go for a little run, bit of a sound check, see how this new exhaust sounds. It sounds a hell of a lot better. I've got some pictures coming up in a bit, uh, show you the uh, the old one, the RSR system, what must have been on from the beginning, because the actual piping on that, uh, it's that's got, looks like the fleas have been at it. It's got little pepper marks, pepper holes all through it. And the uh, back box was cracked on both sides. The tip had a hole in it at the neck. And the other side was just about hanging on as well, I think. So it definitely needed a system. So let's go and see how this one uh, sounds now compared to before.
like chaps um hope you enjoyed the video comment like subscribe anything you can do helps the channel uh we don't charge you anyway for this one anyway yet <laughs> well gotta get better videos for us that charging any money for people to watch them um but for now it's just a hobby um so we did like this one next one coming up will be all about the uh, new standalone ecu going into the car the old one will be coming out and we'll be having the um link uh storm g4 plus and then after that we can just build and build on it and fit what we want bigger turbos bigger this bigger that uh and we can start really working on the engine then to get the engine how we want it uh and what power we want running at it initially we won't be going over 400 brake um because that's where the gearboxes on these tend to uh fade <laughs> and stop to work so well that's what that'll be our aiming point up to 400 for initially um injectors usual stuff turbo uh fuel pump and we'll let you know as we're going along uh, what we're fitting watch let you watch what we're doing and uh, this is when the, the good bits start happening now all the little fluffy bits of finding parts of it they've all gone because everything's there now in place so the future's looking good um so i hope you enjoyed the video um that was the clocks you saw they'll be going fitted into the binnacle of the car so they look pretty much natural to the car um you know, i think the way they're going to do it is keep the clocks behind the actual race dash and all you'll be able to see really is the um it'll have a background sort of to it so so they look like they should be there basically uh i hope you enjoy the little drive from one of my local uh, photographic points, get some nice pictures up there on good days up the pub, um, and then a the little drive down to the uh, garage where I normally get my Costa coffee from. <laughs> I needed it that day, I really did. And it's going to get not warmer next week, so I'll start getting this car out a bit more now. Uh, some new backgrounds, drops for the forester shoots for it, and everything, and let you know how it's going on. Plus the minis, I keep forgetting the minis, but. We will get time to get to them eventually, but they have both got their problems. The Clubman um, and the little Cooper S. Um, but we will find time to get them out and get some stuff done on. Tell you what we've done to them so far and what our plans for the future are for them as well. Because we are a big mini loving family. Um, I love driving them, to be honest, but I like my classic Japanese as well. So I can't, I can't really, um, can't really win there so like a thought a rose between two thorns uh, but they are great cars i love the minis uh, the early ones that is especially uh, you know the r53 the r50 that's all we've ever had really the, the wife's clubman's a generation two uh, but uh, that's got the flappy paddles on it um it's a, it's a cooper s goes well and we've got some plans for that in the future as well induction system probably uh maybe a different turbo I don't know what we're doing with it yet, but we've not had this little Cooper S long supercharger on that. Sounds brilliant. We'll get some noise testing done on that, definitely. Really nice um, individual noise it makes. You, can't, you know the difference between a turbo and a supercharger when they go off. One's a whine, as you say, and the other one's like a, I don't know, a blow or whatever they call them. Anyway, I'll let you go there. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, here's to the next one. Like I said, it'll be a little bit more clean than the next one. It'll be um, more regarding the setup of the ECU and the mapping of it to go with the car. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. So thanks for watching again. Hopefully see you soon. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.